malls, convenience stores, record shops. Sometimes exciting things can happen in seemingly dull places. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that revolve around shops. This is my baby right here. That's my baby's dick right there. For this list, we've looked at films that feature shops as a key location, whether it's because of the main character's occupation or because a big part of the action takes place in a store. Do you, uh, do you have Ghostbusters on VHS? There's no VHS here, buddy. Now grab your shopping lists and your credit cards and let's go to the mall. Number 10, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Welcome to Smart Tech, how can I be of service to you? Andy's job as an electronics store clerk at the age of 40 is not the only sign his development has been arrested. Are you a virgin? When his colleagues find out he's never been with a woman, they decide to help him explore his manhood. Andy, it's going down, partner, we gonna be Smart Tech thus becomes the physical setting in which Andy is schooled in the ways of love and sex. You ever heard of the term buddy? As everyone who works there becomes involved in helping him, often leading to hilarious situations. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, you probably shouldn't be digging in your ass. Number nine, Bad Santa. You want to see some man check? Here, let's watch you disappear. Once you get over the shock of seeing a very profane Santa on screen, you can sit back and enjoy Billy Bob Thornton's performance as Willie. Is that it? Yeah, that's the last one. Thank the Christ. In this black comedy Christmas film, he's an alcoholic con man with a sex addiction that poses as Santa Claus on Christmas Eve to rob malls. Though the film features a few other locations, it's essentially at the mall where we witness all the bad behavior and a series of foul remarks, which is all very fitting for the holidays. Or not. Jesus, kid. When I was your age, I didn't need no gorilla. And I wasn't as big as one of your legs. Four kids beat me up one time and I went crying home to my daddy and you know what he did? He made it all better? No, he kicked my ass. Number eight, Be Kind, Rewind. I am Robocop. I heard there was a disturbance at Be Kind Rewind video store. Mr. Robocop, may I have an autograph? After erasing all their tapes by accident, two video store clerks decide that the only solution to save their business is to reshoot the movies requested by their customers themselves. You're walking down the street yeah. and you see a little ghost. What? What you gonna do about Ghostbusters? What? What? What is that? That's the Ghostbusters theme song. The comedy drama is an ode to the dying technology of VHS tapes and a tribute to film nerds everywhere. Hey, look, this is how you make it look old. The fan get the impression that it's an old film and the string is for the scratches, see? If this doesn't make you miss renting movies, we don't know what will. I want to rent Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters? Is that out? Isn't that a horror movie? Really? Yeah. And that could be interesting. Miss Falafowitz, mm. it's actually Follow got this. a lot of nudity. Number seven, Empire Records. Empire Records open till midnight. This is Mark. Well, I don't know. I'll have to check. It's the boss. Remember in the 90s when working at a record store was the coolest job on earth? Nothing left to sing about this time. It's over now. The word is out and That's what the characters of this 1995 sleeper hit think at least, and they're trying their best to save their store from being bought by a large chain. Here at midnight, party on man! Damn the man! Save the empire! <laughs> Aside from the obvious feelings of nostalgia, the coming-of-age movie was actually written by a former employee of Tower Records No. 166, a record store that closed a decade after Empire Records' release. Sugar high. Number six, The Mist. What is it, Daddy? Mist? If your worst nightmare is to be stuck at the local supermarket while monsters roam outside, then you will agree with our next entry. Hey, Mr. Drayton. You guys are jammed up. Yeah, well, half the staff didn't show, plus the power's out. After a severe thunderstorm, 
the inhabitants of Bridgeton, Maine head to the local grocery store to pick up supplies. But when a thick mist starts to surround the town, those who are already inside the supermarket find themselves trapped, and tensions begin to rise. Ow! Stop your chicken shit whining, or I will cut your puling tongue out. The result is a sci-fi horror flick that director Frank Darabont describes as less about the monsters outside than about the monsters inside. Abraham prepared to sacrifice his only son to prove his love for God, so... <laughs> Number five, Little Shop of Horrors. How about a musical comedy that takes place in a flower shop and features a groovy plant with the voice of Motown legend Levi Stubbs? Would you like a Cadillac car or a gas shot on jackpot? How about a date with Hedy Lamar? You're gonna get it if you want it, baby. When nerdy florist Seymour discovers that one of his new plants, Audrey too, needs human blood to live, he becomes a local celebrity. Hey, I wish you folks at home could see this. Seymour, where did you get such a weird plant? Unfortunately, he's unaware of Audrey II's plans for world domination. We're not talking about one hungry plant here. We're talking about world conquest. And I want to thank you! With music, laughs, and maybe some scares, this movie encompasses all genres into one little shop of horrors. Nature calls! You got the point? I'm gonna bust your balls! <laughs> Number four, High Fidelity. I own this store called Championship Vinyl. Our next entry is about a chronic list maker, just like us. Number two on the top five all-time breakup list was Penny Hardwick. Penny was great looking. And her top five recording artists were Carly Simon, Carol King, James Taylor, Cat Stevens, and Elton John. Rob owns Championship Vinyl, a record store that he's barely keeping afloat. And meanwhile, he is also going through a bad breakup. Oh no, Rob, that's not obvious enough. Not at all. How about uh, Point of No Return on Point of No Return? Lewis, so you can uh, get up a... Shut up, shut up. <laughs> the comedy drama perfectly combines music with his personal top five breakups. Despite his knowledge of sad pop songs, Rob is clueless when it comes to relationships. Marvin Gaye's responsible for our entire relationship. Oh, is that so? I'd like a word with him then. The record store is where he muses over those, and the movie is essentially a coming-of-age story for adults, with an excellent soundtrack. I was just trying to cheer us up, so go ahead. Put on some old sad bastard music, see if I care. Number three, Mall Rats. Now she's gonna be auctioned off on live TV from a mall. Not a mall, all right? The mall. Show some respect. In this romantic comedy, the mall is where two best friends try to mend their recently broken hearts. No, no, there is something out there that can help ease our simultaneous double loss. Ritual suicide? No, you idiot, the f mall! They get into all kinds of shenanigans, including an encounter with comic book magnate Stan Lee. Holy shit! Unfortunately for them, their ex-girlfriends also have business that brings them to the mall. How long has this been going on? Since I finally mustered the good sense to send you packing. The film tells a seemingly pointless story, but it eventually won the hearts of fans and became a Kevin Smith classic. You called down the thunder, well now you got it. Security! Hey, Roddy. What? Jesus Christ, you knocked him out. Number two, Dawn of the Dead. What the hell is it? Looks like a shopping center, one of those big indoor malls. So far on our list, the mall has been a place for Christmas craziness and for slacking off after a breakup. In this 1978 George Romero horror, however, a shopping mall becomes a refuge from a much larger threat than greedy Santa impersonators and ex-girlfriends. Here, the danger is zombies. A reporter, his girlfriend, and two SWAT team members attempt to escape via helicopter but circumstances force them to make a stop at this secluded hideout. However, first, they must purge it from any remaining flesh eaters. In a critique of modern consumerist society, Romero uses them all as a temporary paradise for his heroes. Temporary being the keyword here. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. May I ask who you are? Kathleen Kelly, I own this store. And you are? Joe. Just call me Joe. We'll take these books. This is work, by the way. My little travel bookshop. What the f 
fuck am I doing down here doing business in this shithole mall? But that's Dobus. That's the pride of Dobus. Get used to it, because this place is going to change. Oh, yeah! OK, people, tomorrow morning, 10 AM, Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my god! Number one, clerks. I'm going to this bitch. I'm going to this bitch. I'll anything that moves. Our number one pick is the film that revolves around a shop. Okay, keep cracking wise. That's why you're jockeying to register in some local convenience store instead of working on a steady job. Dante and Randall are retail store clerks who hate their job, but do it anyway. All right, if you hate this job and the people and the fact that you have to come in on your day off, then why don't you quit? The comedy follows one day in their lives, showing us how they annoy customers, discuss relationships and movies, and even find some time to play hockey on the roof. Hey, I have a responsibility here. I can't have everybody grabbing free drinks. Responsibility? What responsibility? You're closing a store to play hockey. He's blunt, but he's got a point. Nobody expected this movie to become a cult classic, including director Kevin Smith himself. But thanks to its realism, dark humor, and relatable characters, that's exactly what happened. The body can maintain an erection after expiration, sometimes for hours. Did he have the adult magazine when he came in? Uh, no, I, I gave it to him. He asked me for it. It also spawned a prequel a year later, which you might remember from a couple of entries ago. I love the smell of commerce in the morning. Do you agree with our list? Which movies that revolve around shops left a lasting impression on you? For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Get back on the floor. Oh, you. Oh.